7 questions with Stephen Brad. 7 questions with Stephen Brad. It's another episode of 7 questions with Stephen Brad. Yes! 7 questions with an with- amazing guest, Mr. Ian Buchanan. How are you, sir? I'm very well. Thank you very much. I'm in quarantine and sort of surviving like everybody else. So. <laughs> okay, you, good. You look, I mean, your color, look you, amazing. You look, you, you th- you're thriving. Thriving. I've been, I get to walk, which is nice. And I get to walk little sun, although I don't know what this mask suntan thing is going to look like. <laughs> I never thought about thing. that. The, you're like right. The, the and also quarantine the tan. I, I have to find a mask that doesn't make my ears go like this. Otherwise, I'm going to look like a white mouse for the time I come. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't know what the answer to that is. Either too funny. They take to hold the ears back. And, uh, <laughs> it's going to be too... I don't know. Oh, God. All these things to think about. Goodness. Well, question number one. What is your favorite traditional Scottish dish? My favorite... Well, you know... Scottish people would say, you have to say haggis. Mm. But it's, for me, being, I do, I'm vegetarian, but there is a vegetarian haggis. But I do, on Robert Burns Day, which is January 25th every year, I host the Robert Burns Supper, which consists of haggis. And you toast, you, 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 there's a node to the haggis, and then you stab it with a knife. And it's a sheep's bladder, ostensibly, which then, it's, pressurized and it sprouts all over the place well i don't do that i do the vegetarian version but so uh, what do you so, what do you, so what you stab, stab instead like a, like a squash it's a, it's a it's a synthetic uh, sheep's bladder like made out of either kind of some edible some i oh, know it's actually not edible it's actually not i'd have one on the freezer because this year we had to cancel but uh you you boil it and it gets it expands like a like a soccer ball like a bladder and then when you stab it, it kind of... So where do you buy that? Uh, this, these come from the companies not in the States make. Well, a haggis is, is basically the premise is that if you take the inside of a sheep and while the sheep's still alive, how to eat all of its innards and inside of the stomach is the, the, the masticated innards. And then you just put in oatmeal, stitch it up and boil it. Well, that's what it is. It's the offal of the sheep inside the sheep's stomach. So that would be... That and salmon are my Scottish. That, okay. are my, oh, nice. I, I sw- wow. I swear that was a scene from Braveheart. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. What is your favorite way to die on screen? I've died so many times. <laughs> my, my least favorite was being buried alive. Least favorite? was my least favorite was him. So let me think forward from, I think just quietly on the ground with a, with a bullet, just quietly with, when there's, <laughs> you don't have to be, not, not too much like writhing around or, yeah. or as you like falling in the water, none of that, just yeah. quietly kind of a, a sort of, oh my God, I'm like, and then just quietly die, just reflect upon a few things and close your eyes. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully would, you rather, yeah. would you rather die in someone's arms or on your own? On someone's lap is nice because then your head's not on the hard on the hard ground. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's head true. On, your head's that's on amazing. someone's lap, and they're like keeping your hair so off the camera side. So, like, you know, that's good. Although I died once. I think the first time I almost died at San Pedro. I'm General Hospital down San Pedro. They, I nobody told it me. Or I don't think anybody thought about it. That flies like fake blood as much as they like real blood. So you're down in San Pedro where they take fish off the boats and the whole place is nothing but flies. Oh. They put me on the ground, put the fake blood, and within five minutes, I was covered in these buzzing, buzzing like flies, oh. like this, you know, eating That's that sweet. sugary, sweet, fake blood. Oh. It was, it was, I, that was a nightmare. Not my yeah. favorite way to die. That, that was not your favorite way to die. Not wow. If you had a boat, what would you name it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't, I see so many like I don't know. I see so many boat names. Probably. Oh, I don't know. It would be something. Uh, you wouldn't name I it. Lu- huh? You wouldn't name it Luke, would you? No, I wouldn't name it Luke. All right. <laughs> I'm yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, what is his book called? I can't even remember actually. 
I can't remember his boat. Oh, that's right. He boat. did have a boat. What was he the boat? boat? I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, you've got a name. No, you've got a name. It's got to be a female name. You've got to name it a girl's name. So it might be, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, my family have had boats. I'm trying to think what the names were. There was some, you know, they were called like, like Celeste. <laughs> Celeste. <laughs> Celeste. Are. Celeste the boat. Sorry, Bradford. I'm taking this one. Go for it. The best thing about wearing a kilt. <laughs> it's very, it's very liberating. It's very freeing. It's very nice. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing. Oh, I, I, I was just in Scotland at a family wedding and they said, you're going to wear a kilt. And I said, no, I'm not going to wear a kilt. And they said, well, everybody's wearing, we're all wearing kilts. I said, listen, last family wedding, that uh, I went to and everybody was in kilts. It was when Photoshop was very difficult, very expensive, and it cost a lot of money to block out the genitalia of the bride's <laughs> relatives. I said, I am not wearing a kilt to another wedding. <laughs> so, amazing. of course, lo and behold, oh. I, wear, like, I wear, wore like a tartan, a plaid, smoking jacket and pants and whatever blah every single wedding photograph has a sibling or a nephew's backside or <laughs> flying, <laughs> flying in a picture flying in a picture so but nobody the, ever wears the, under you never wear nobody, nobody wears. but i but i when my grandfather was like very old and of course as you get older things start getting closer to the ground but he <laughs> when he would wear his kilt he would borrow like a diaper pin from whoever, like there'd be whoever the grandkids were, the, you know, he'd borrow a diaper pin and take the tails of his dress shirt and put them between his legs and pin the shirt together. So he had some, some control. Right, some, some protection. <laughs> some control over the bits and pieces. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What is the plate for? What's the plate? What plate? Don't you wear a plate in front? Oh, the sparring. It's like a it's like a, a man, man purse and mercy. So you keep your stuff. Oh, in. it is. Oh, it's to yeah. oh, it's yeah. to put your stuff in. Oh. Yeah, no, not stuff. not your stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. Stuff. Yeah, you could, you could. <laughs> also, you can keep your stuff down. If you get a little excited, you can just yeah. put your thing in front there. Yes, yes, it's there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so stupid, Brad. So it's a, it's got tons of practical purposes. Yeah, the, I just actually saw one, just came up in some trivia thing, which is fascinating, and it, from a museum someplace, somewhere in Scotland that has three separate firing devices from, I think, the 19th century, early 19th, maybe, or late 18th, that if anybody tried to open it, like, it would shoot, like, not, <laughs> not towards you, hopefully, but it had three different cocking devices that would shoot the person who was trying to break into it. It was all rigged. So wow. you, you take, people would take very, would carry valuables. So. This is like haggis all over again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, like, if, you're, if you're dancing at a wedding, do those things ever turn around by mistake though? Uh, oh yeah, sure, sure. So that sounds precarious. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the whole thing is precarious, but you know. It's, it's <laughs> that's Scottish life, precarious. The whole thing. Yeah. yeah. No. And that's and that's why you went to Spain. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. What has been your favorite quarantine activity? Quarantini. Oh, mm. you created a drink. You named a drink. Well, I. I, I or is it just I drinking? Called, no, I called mine the stir crazy. It was the one that I, I created for a friend of mine who now does like a, a Zoom show, uh, like with her, her, her stir crazy hour. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of really enjoy it. I enjoy it. But just that mixing that cocktail and just, I like it. It makes, it's, it's part of measuring the day, which is, you know, you got to measure the day. You got to have like a beats to the day. So I kind of, I'd yes. like to measure the day, whether it's an hour for reading, an hour for email, an hour for something, an hour for walking, an hour for this, an hour for that. And when it gets to be, Happier than it's a good, oh, thing. But, you know, yes, the day has been measured, and I deserve that. You know, absolutely I deserve that. And then, you know, then it's no time at all till dinner time, and then, you know, a little maybe a little television, more reading, and then it's bad. So it's nice. It's yeah. measuring the yeah. day. So. When you said five o'clock, and then you said maybe, I thought you were going to say four thirty. Not. <laughs> <laughs>
What's the most beautiful city that you've ever been in? Yeah, oh, that's a hard one because I love, I love Paris. I still love London. I love Rio de Janeiro. Mm. Uh, I love, uh, I love Rome. I love. Uh, I, I was recently in, in but, Bhutan, and I kind of love that country. The city uh, of Timpu, I really kind of like. It's charming, and it's it's. it's uh, I like Bangkok also, actually. So I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah. hard. It's hard for me. To, yeah, I like. I like. You like to I travel. Like yeah, <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. And I forgot. Bonus question. What do you think? Duke and Anna or Luke and Laura? Uh, is this question for me? Yeah. Is that for me, Bradford? <laughs> huh? Because I, I'll pick Duke and Laura. Duke and Laura? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I, that's her, fight, that's her swear, fighting I, name. Duke that's and a, Laura. Those are, those, are fi- those are fighting words, too. Yeah. Ian, thank you, brother, for yeah. your time, man. Really <laughs> thank appreciate you guys. it. Thank this you so great. much, man. Thank you. Loved it. Hey guys, it's Stephen Bradford from General Hospital. We have an exciting new way to get you backstage at General Hospital on our comedy tours and in our real lives. Exclusive content and a lot of access. Go to stonecoldandjackal.com and check it out.